All right, folks, Pachini Ace 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We are on Big Wave Beach. 31 end levels, one endless zone, five plants, one boss battle. Let's use this key to unlock it. Now, this is going to be a very difficult place. I find this to be extremely difficult, more so because of the functionality of the, w the wave, basically. Look at this beautiful beach. It's got everything a growing plant needs. Sun, sand, and lots of water. Caution, user Dave. My sensors indicate there are zombies on your beach. And far too much water. It will overwhelm the plants. No problemo. We'll just lay down some lily pads. Then the other plants can ride the waves. Or as the vernacular of this era goes, they can hang ten. Ride on, Penny. Ride on. So, if you guys ever played the first Plants vs. Zombies, you'll definitely know that you had to use lily pads in the outdoor level. This is kind of like that, except it's actually the whole, every single row. Uh, and there will be the tides. You'll notice how far the tides go up by a line. As you can see right where those lily pads are. Wherever that line is, everything behind it, you do not have to plant a lily pad on it. Everything in front of it you do have to plant a lily pad there will be some plants that you don't actually have to plant a lily pad for but those are very very few and far between um, there's gonna be parts that are gonna be very difficult in this one where they're gonna limit the amount of plants that you can use and because you have to use a lily pad it's just gonna require you to really really struggle with it um, so at this point this is gonna be day one this is more of an introduction than anything else uh, so the my main kind of plan on this is going to be to basically have a whole row of Invisinuts, the dragon flower right behind him, and then also to have the laser beam right behind him. The snorkel zombies aren't present in this level, uh, and because they're not really present, it doesn't matter the laser beam. Uh, you'll notice that with the snorkel zombies, which you'll see I believe in day two, you are definitely going to want to use something more than a laser beam. Normally like a winter melon or something like that. Um, so as this one's going through, you really don't need to plant any lily pads. They're going to force you to take one, so definitely you use one if you have it. Um, but at this point, might as well use the plant food on one of the twin sunflowers. That way you can kind of finish off your whole row. Uh, but if you're at this point right now, you should be fine. You should have beaten the level, basically have no no real issue with it. Lost a guy right there, but, you know, luckily we get a plant food and we can easily take all of those guys out. You're going to get a plant food in the top row. So, I can talk a little bit more about this uh, world. Uh, this world might take me a little bit longer to, to take just because it is very difficult. There are so many times where I've had to play the levels over and over and over again in order to get them right. Because even though you may or I may have the strategy, a lot of time it's really, really quick and you really got to be on top of things. Um, the bucket heads are going to be really, really difficult because uh, they throw a lot at you. Um, and the bucket heads do a really, really uh, good job of taking all the damage so the, so the enemies behind you really can get through to you. Especially in this one more so than the other ones. The lily pads are always difficult. Well, anyways, guys, that is day one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for day two. I'll see you guys in the next part. This has been Pitching Games 88. Over and out.